Hey everyone, welcome back to the beautiful little game that is Beyond Eyes about this little blind girl who goes exploring beyond her home safe environment. And in the last episode, we managed to meet a, a, a girl and we rescued her ball for her. It took a bit of work because this girl is blind and needs to feel her way around the environment. Mommy. But she found the ball and gave it back to the girl which I imagine filled her with a great deal of warmth and satisfaction. Now she's still looking for her cat, Nanny. So sit back and relax and just listen to my voice as I guide you through this beautiful game. Ooh, what's this over there? There's Nanny. Nanny, what are you doing? Is that the middle of the road? Let's have a look. Oh, just wandering into the road. Could be cars. I don't know. It doesn't sound like there's any cars. But Nanny definitely went this way. Now you can see, as I look behind me, you can see the world is still painted behind her. Because she has a residual in it, uh, residual memory of the world that she's passed. Through, through her senses, she's managed to accumulate some sort of knowledge of the world. Now, which way do we go? Do we go straight along here? It's like a little path here. I wonder what that sign was for. It looks like a little coffee shop or something. So there's bins and um, things in the way there. So maybe we need to go past the little coffee shop. Can't quite make out what that says on the board there. I imagine it to be a little shop or a bakery or something. Ooh, Nanny loved to eat fish. Ray was certain he, was, he would have come this way. <laughs> Seagull. <laughs> Seagull's got in your way. No. So if he's gone that way, maybe we can walk across here? No. Huh. <clears throat> so how do we get past the seagulls? Maybe we can walk along here and there's like a gate or something? Ah, she can pass by the side of the wall. Okay, good, good, good. Now she knows there's fish there because she can smell them, obviously. She's having to engage all her other senses because she can't see anything. Oh, she's kind of stunned right now. She's like, where do I go? Maybe if I follow this path along here, well, not really a path, but follow this route, we can find another way around. Maybe there's a gate here? No. Hmm. How do we get past this then? Now, if you imagine you're a blind person, this is the only way you could explore. Unless you've got like a personal carer who helps you helps you with everything, and guides you, then you're going to be stuck. And I wonder if that shop has anything to do with the game. Can we go this way? Yay, we found the little path. Awesome. Now, if you remember... <laughs> oh, she can hear a guy and that instantly sends her into a bit of a scared state. But she's like, ah, oh, he's whistling. That's okay. I feel a bit happier now. Oh, is that like a stream? She can hear the water rippling and the birds chirping away. Ah, oh, we found another bridge. Now we somehow need to get over to the right. Because that's where she thought Nanny was. So I imagine the guide, the game is guiding me that way. There we go, we found a path. What was that? She could hear like a... She could hear like a bell on a bike um, ringing. Hmm. I don't know how long this game is. But I'm kind of enjoying the sort of meditative experience it gives you. Just allows you to explore. Hopefully I'm doing a good job presenting it. I wonder if I can go over this way. Now, I've had a comment from Pin, Pin Writer, thank you very much, my friend, um, saying that it might be an idea to explore all around where we're walking, but I, I kind of feel that would ruin the experience a little bit um, for the viewers. For me, I guess it would be okay, but um, I don't want to be wandering around aimlessly um, and unable to... Well, it would just make a longer video, and I'm not sure the game has enough going on to hold your attention, so. Ooh, we're like in town. There's fruits and vegetables. Yeah. She wants them. She can smell them, I think. 
music's gone up beat, so it's like, yeah, I can tell this is a cool place, this is a happy place. Very narrow, cobbled streets, reminds me of some old English town. Don't know if this girl's English or American or... She kind of looks a little bit, a little bit oriental, I would say. Ooh, where do we go now? Looks like this corner is going to be blocked off. Yes, yeah, so I think we need to follow the path along here. Come on, little Ray. Let's find our friend Nanny. The smell of fresh bread gave Ray an idea. Aha, yeah, it gives me an idea too. We could take the fresh bread and use it to lure those uh, seagulls out of the way. Uh, it's not a good idea to steal, but <laughs> she might do it anyway. She's a blind girl. Hopefully people will forgive her. <laughs> there you go. She's got some bread. She's not going to eat it. I can hear a truck reversing. Huh. I, th I suspect we need to go back the way we came. Ah, oh, there's the truck. Ah, he blocks your way. Okay, so maybe we need to find a different route. Or maybe we use the bread to attract the kitty cat oh we can hear another doggy hey mr. doggy I hope you're stuck behind bars and you're not going to attack me wait a minute I'm going to walk towards him what's behind that gate or is there a gate there a fence now she's like no I, I do not want to go near that stop forcing me to do it Reinstein what's wrong with you I don't like scary stuff Ooh, where are we now? Aha, yeah, I think we follow this path around here. What do you think of the graphical style on the game, everyone? I think it's beautiful, beautifully made. A bit slow for my tastes, the game is, but, um... Well, gaming is about all different types of uh, art styles, all different types of gameplay mechanics, and this strikes a nice little balance if you need a relaxing game to play. <clears throat> Can we go over this way? I don't know. If we have to go back towards that truck, I don't know how to get past it. Or maybe I overlooked it and I, that it was easy to get to. Oh, here we go. Oh no, we're blocked. We're blocked in. Nanny, I'm not going to be able to find you. And you remember she's she's taking kind of baby steps as she walks which can be frustrating when you're playing the game because you want to go quickly but um, if you imagine you're a blind person how would you act if you literally could not see anything go outside and and try to walk around with your eyes closed and see see how you manage <clears throat> okay there's another truck there and we're blocked off yet again. Huh. We can't get past any of these trucks. I wonder where we go then. Nanny. Okay, we've got the bread. My idea was just to use it with the seagulls. And lure them away from that spot. But that doesn't seem possible. Maybe we can throw the bread to the doggy. And the doggy will move out of our way. Hmm. What do you think, everyone? How do we get past this? Maybe there's somewhere near the dock that we can get to. No, there's a wall just blocking our way here. And a lamppost. Not a lamppost, a tree. <laughs> I'm more blind than she is. Can we get round here? Maybe we can walk along here. No, we cannot. So any way we can cross the stream, maybe we'll find a straight boat or something. Probably not, but you know, worth a try, right? There could be a bridge here. <gasps> yeah, it's a bridge. Awesome, I found it. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not a not as bad at gaming as I thought I was. Here we go. Let's go, Ray. Is it right we need to go? I'm gonna follow the path. She seems safest on the path. Although, there doesn't seem to be too many dangers, to be honest. But, uh, there's, there's the, Mommy. yeah, there's the seagulls, okay. 
So I wonder how we interact with those and use this bread we've got. Maybe it does it automatically. It looks like it's going to do it automatically. Okay. There, take the bread. The seagulls flocked around the bread, gobbling it up greedily. And then, now you've had the bread, maybe you'll leave me alone. Okay, so are they going to move or... No, they're still blocking my way. Okay. Let's see what's over here. There's more bread! Ah. Uh-huh. But how do we get to it? We're blocked by a wall. There's no gate that I can see just yet, but maybe if we follow this around here... Ooh, there's a gate. Can you open this, Ray? No. She's like, no, I cannot. Stop trying to make me open gates. And then the wall blocks us again. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I need to go back towards that truck. And maybe he's moved by now. And then I can walk all the way around. And those seagulls are not blocking my path anymore. That's what I think. Oh no, it's starting to rain, Ray. What are we going to do? We're going to get wet. We don't have an umbrella. Oh, the truck's still in the way. Aha, here we go. So the man looks like he's walked through there, so maybe I can walk through there. Let's go and have a look. Come on, Ray. I'll guide you to your little fr friend, the cat nanny. I like the way the game gives you little uh, little clues. Like I said, it can be frustrating at times, but the little clues it gives you about where to go are kind of helpful and nice. Uh huh. So, did we go? Oh, there's another bridge. So maybe that's sort of in the direction that we need to be going. Let's see. Now, at this point, I'd like to ask you. How is my presentation of this video? I'm talking quite softly and quite deliberately slowly in order to create a quiet, relaxing experience for you. As opposed to my other games where I tried to add a little bit more energy and make them a little bit more exciting. This one, I feel I'm setting the tone right, but you, you can let me know in the comments if you will. And if you do enjoy my presentation of my various videos, please click the subscribe button channel's going amazingly. You do not know how much I appreciate all your feedback. The interaction we're having on the channel right now is absolutely amazing. And uh, I can only thank you for it. You guys are awesome. I might not sound sincere because sometimes I'm told that people say I sound sarcastic. But I, I'm not meaning to be sarcastic. I'm meaning to be genuine. But um, yeah, who knows. My voice is incapable of explaining or it's incapable of uh, representing how I feel. Ah, oh, there's fish here. Ooh, looks like we can interact with the fish. Can we? Can we interact with the fish? No. Ah, oh, that would be cool if I could, like, take some fish and then use it to lure Nanny. What about this one? Can we use this? See, the yellow sort of indicates that we can, but perhaps not. Okay. Something has appeared up ahead. What is this? Ooh, trees. She's just feeling her way now. She's like, what is this? Ooh, yay, we found an umbrella. You're not going to be wet anymore, Ray. What a piece of luck that was. <laughs> Good job, Ray. All right, well, that ends that episode, guys. What do you think so far? Will we ever find Nanny? That was pretty cool, though. The little subtle puzzles it gives you a quite interesting. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe with all your friends. Share it with your friends and uh, I'll see you on the next episode very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.